Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you why it is important to use layers in a floor plan or any diagram really, but in a floor plan in particular. So if I just create a quick floor plan, so I'll click on that option and create it. And then I'll just add some shapes and show you what I mean. So if I drag a room shape on there, so it's quite small that one is, it's a 2.5 by three meter room i've got the um, size and position window open so i'm just going to make this a little bit bigger five meters maybe by five meters so we get the idea so it's a bigger space and then if i add a door to it just add a door the door is the default which is 90 centimeters that'll do and a window let's get a window on there and put two windows on there on either side keep it nice and windowy line that up a bit and I'll also put one on this side so now that is the first part of the floor plan the actual structure of the place the doors windows and the, and the room and the walls so what I'm going to do is just highlight all of this off and create a layer that I can then lock down at a later time so if we just go back to home so on the home tab you've got the layers option at the end under editing Assign to layer, layer properties. So assign to a layer. So these are the layers that are already there. These come with their own layers. So you've got the option of going new there, or if I cancel this off, I can go into layer properties and it will show me all the layers, as you can see there, visible or not. Now if I cancel that off and just go back into the first one, assign to layer, and I'll go new layer. So this layer I will call Steve. And then click OK to that, and then OK again. Now, if I go back into layer properties, I can see Steve is, is visible. If I take the other elements off, OK, apply, because Steve is also encompassing those layers, I should better see that still. Click OK to that, click off the diagram. So I can see everything in place there. So that is a layer. Now, it is not locked, but it's a complete thing. If I go back into that and go into Layer Properties, and for Steve, you've got the options here of Lock. Now, if I click OK to that, I can't move this at all. So that's OK. This is sitting in place for me, ready to add elements in this room, like desks, chairs, etc., etc. So if I go and look at the other stencils there, you've got different options at the top there quick shapes, annotation, building core, so that will just come up with different uh, symbols and then engineering symbols, drawing tools, electrical and telecoms, points of interest and then the actual structure itself. Now what I haven't got is any desks, so if I just search for a desk, see what comes up, or if you know that there's a stencil that um, you, you know where this stuff is, you can actually grab it from there. So this is giving me all the information I want. Now, if I go for a workstation, let's have a look what happens. I'll bring this in. Now, look how big that is. That's quite big. So that's two and a half meters, nearly two and a half meters square, that whole space. And it might be too big. It just about fits there. Okay, so I will put that in there. That's not too bad. But bear in mind that when you buy things like this, you can put the measurements in this window and then this this shape will reflect that so these are all preset you might want to do it individually let's see what happens if I bring a, a desk on so let's sit there so that's just like like a desk if I put that there that looks like a drawer and then a desk chair that looks like it'll fit there and you can line that up and you can spin that round so that sits like that now there are preset formats in terms of distance you have to have in a desk space I think it's 1 meter 20 all around so that's quite a big space you've got there what else can I bring in here so let's go for a table if I search for table bring a little table in and then I don't want much more in there because it's getting a bit cluttered um, circular table casual table put it into that corner there maybe I want a sofa or something in there let's put a sofa at the top there I might get that in there search for a sofa sofa two-seater probably it's going to be quite big no it's going to fit 
excellent. So that sofa is fitting and spin it round the other way so it's backs to the wall. So I'll put it into that corner um, like so. And then the desk can sit there. Just move this sofa up a little bit away from the wall. Now what I could also do is create layers for these. If I click on that one, hold the shift key down and just go and create a layer. So I'll call these um, a sign to layer I want really. I'll call this test one, test two, test three for these three elements. I'll just see if we can do that. So I'm going new. I'll call it test one. Okay. And then I'll click on the sofa. Um, okay, to that I'll click on the sofa, shift key and the table. And I'll call that, if I go into layer, not layer properties. You can go into layer properties. I'll go into layer, assign to layer. New. I'll call this test two. Okay. Okay, and then this one by itself, test three. So I've got three separate layers. Um, keep wanting to go into layer properties. I suppose it's no difference. Test three. Okay. Okay. Now if I do go into, now I can go into layer properties. I should see those three, those three that I've just done, including the first one I did. Now let's see what happens here. If I take these ticks off one by one, apply. These are all the preset loaded ones that come in with the with the stencil shapes that you drag on as you drag them on. So I just want to make sure everything, because I've created my own little layers, that it still shows, so I'll have to do it again. So, so far, so good. Everything's still staying there. Now I'm coming down to the ones that I've done. So just get rid of wall and window. So we've now just got the four that I created so if I tick these off in theory these should start disappearing so I'll leave Steve because that's the actual walls so test one apply that's gone test two apply that's gone and then test three apply and then everything's disappeared ready to come back when you tick them back on so if you create your own layers and make sure you're grabbing the, the preset layers as well. It just makes it a little bit easier to manage things if you need if you've got a complex diagram and you need to move things around and just maybe you just want to edit this this layer. You know, because you take the lock off this particular layer, Steve, and then you need to do something to this, or I don't know the window or whatever, and then lock it down again and then put all the other ones back. That's how you would use layers. You can actually set different colours as well for layers. But it's just a, a, a bit of trial and error initially just to get sure, make sure you've grabbed the right thing to make it a layer. And then you can just do what I've just done there, show or hide it. So hopefully this little video has been of use. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for your time.